I told you. Yo, you owe me something. You owe me. You owe me a pie. How about that? You owe me like a for real. A pie? No. An apple pie with with green. Because it's raining. Yes, because I told you like it's not gonna rain. What is it doing right now? It's precipitating. It's raining. It's just a drizzle. I win. I win. Put it because you're gonna say something about it. My wife said it was gonna rain, and I told her no, it's not gonna rain. And guess what? Look, it's raining. So I owe her an apple pie with women. Yeah. That's my type. Are you gonna get wine? He said he didn't know if they were going to be here this week. Mm. Well, I'm cash in case they were. Look, it's a horse buggy. I'm seeing it over there. They're not there, look. Seven and eight. There it is. Looks like we're going down that one. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not gonna hit anything really. Mm -hmm. We got free wood. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Chris and I'm glad you came along for the adventure today. Today we return back to Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. We're truck camping again. Uh, you know, this time we have a little bit of a view. We're here for the weekend and, you know, just relaxing and having a good time. So if you uh, like truck camping and you enjoy Jim Thorpe, stick along for the adventure. Me. I'll show you around here. We got. You can see the sun's about to set. It's so beautiful out. Maury's outside watching the movie. I'm just enjoying their time. So what we're doing here is building a barrier because it's extremely windy here today. So we're going to use aluminum foil. That way we can keep the flame solid while we're cooking. So we're using a Malo Me single burner little camping stove powered by butane. This one? Good call, baby. Is 
Is that good enough for you? Chili cheese dogs. We're back in Jim Thorpe. Didn't get enough of it the first time around. This time we're we're back. We're actually doing some truck camping up at a hundred mile view that you may have seen in our last video. Um, you know, it's it's just a beautiful area around here, and and uh, you know we just couldn't get enough of it for one trip. So we decided we'd come back and bring you guys with us again for another trip. And uh, we're gonna take a trolley ride today. So so if you guys want to see a trolley ride and you want to see a little bit more Jim Thorpe, then we hope you stick along because it's gonna be a pretty good day. It's actually Father's Day on 2023. So. For all you fathers out there watching, happy Father's Day and join us on our adventure today. Hope you enjoy it. shops, the restaurants, whatever have you, but there's a lot more this area has to offer. So hopefully I'll be able to broaden your horizons a little bit. We're going to go up to Jim Thorpe's Graven Monument, then we're going to head over to the Lehigh Gorge uh, State Park, 
uh, where we have the Glen Anoka waterfalls and the Turnhole Tunnel and a lot of great hiking, biking, whitewater rafting, kayaking, that type of thing. And then we're going to head back over to the west side. We're going to run up past all the attractions, uh, the museums and the jail, and we're going to go up to Lump Chunk Lake and back. Uh, going to play a little bit of music along the way to keep you guys amused. But anyway, um, uh, no, Jim Thorpe, uh, if you guys have never been here before, he never stepped foot in this town when he was alive, ever. He was from Oklahoma, you guys, from the Fox Station. Uh, the, uh, oh, one more thing I want to tell you, though, is the switchback, when you think about the switchback railroad, they put a big steam engine on top to drag the empty coal cars to the top of the mountain. And then it would go 53 miles an hour down to the mines and, and then double back. What did they build the first one of in the world? What do you guys think? What was the switchback the first one of in the world, other than a gravity railroad? What else goes up an incline at an amusement park and goes down in a... The world's first roller coaster was designed and built here. It was, in fact, it became an amusement ride in 1897 until 1928. But we'll talk a little bit more about that um, during the tour. So we're going to get this show on the road so I don't get myself in trouble. It was built, um, uh, the ballroom up there was built uh, from wood from the 1938 uh, New York Fair. Has anybody on board ever been to Disney before? Yeah. Okay, does that mansion, the Harry Potter mansion, look familiar? That's right, it is the Haunted Mansion at Disney. Or the Disney Haunted Mansion is the is the Harry Packer Mansion. Disney copied it to make the, uh, uh, the mansion at the, at the amusement parks. On the left. Jenner, 
Um, I think it was Bruce back then, Bruce Jenner. <laughs> but you know what? At any rate, I I, I, I got to move on. <laughs> anyway, he was stripped of his medals though. Four months after the games, uh, the International Olympic Committee found out he had taken 35 bucks to play for a minor league baseball team the year before for a season. So for that, they stripped him of his medals um, after the games. It wasn't until October 1st of last year. 2022, Jim Thorpe was reinstated last year as the winner of the Panathlon and the Decathlon. 110 years after being stripped of his medals, he got them back. Anyway, you'll notice there's, there's a bunch of rocks on top of his tomb, right? That's not vandalism. That's a show of respect from other Native Americans. They leave them there. From all over the country, they leave artifacts, coins, and rocks from their native ground as a show of respect. Okay, you guys, now you'll notice we're pulling into the Lehigh Gorge State Park. And uh, it's a 4,300 acre state park. You, you notice the sign says Glen and Oco Access. So Glen and Oco are the waterfalls that we have here. The, the Glen and Oco Falls that are named after the Indian princess, Princess Anoko. Uh, they say she committed suicide off the falls. She was so upset that her, her fiance, um, she was not allowed to marry him because he was from the wrong tribe, so she threw herself off the falls to her death, and they named the falls after her. Anyway, it took two and a half years to film this lake, too. 
That 320 acre lake gets four and a half miles long. In September, we have a, a Native American powwow here. Get the fathers on, on board. Happy, happy Father's Day. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for Jim Thorpe number two. Hope you guys enjoyed the trip. We certainly enjoyed bringing you along for our adventure this weekend. Uh, you know, I want to say with the truck camping, I think one of the things that I enjoy the absolute most is seeing how my, my wife reacts to it um, and, and all the fun that she has and, and how much she truly, really enjoys it. Uh, you know, when we go when we go camping in our RV, uh, we both just kind of got into this habit of, you know, we, we treat it like it's our house. So, um, you know, we'll go outside and we'll have a fire in the evening and maybe watch a movie. But other than that, you know, we spend a lot of time in our RV. So... So going out in a tent certainly forces us to be out in nature and, uh, you know, just kind of be on the elements and experience that that just kind of raw and roughness of it, uh, you know, which is great. Um, I, th I think it's a lot of fun, you know, but I, I've been enjoying watching her like just kind of get all these little trinkets and stuff and and take with and be able to try them out. And, and uh, you know, it's really neat. It, it's a lot of fun to be able to see her and I've been having such a blast doing this. Um, you know, so if it's something that you like, please let us know, you know, if you like, uh, truck camping, or you'd like to see more kind of backpacking and tent camping and, and some of those adventures, you know, let us know because it's certainly not out of the realm of possibility to see it up on our channel. Uh, you know, we do enjoy it. Um, but now that it's starting to get into a little more of the dog days of summer, you know, we're probably going to be taking our RV out a little bit more, uh, just because of having the air conditioning and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of spoiled with that. Me more so than, than Maury. Um, but you know, so we'll probably be back in our RV a little bit, but that's not saying that, you know, you're not going to see truck camping content on here. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be back at it probably within the next month or so. And, and, uh, you know, we want to head up to Cherry Hill state park, which they have a dark sky observatory up there. Um, and, and I'd love to be able to go up there and get some good footage and, and spend the weekend up there and have a good time and take you guys along with obviously. So, um, but yeah, you know, our, our camping experience, um, I wanted to touch on that a little bit. Uh, you know, we, we did have a really good time up there. Uh, you know, it was a lot of fun, um, to do kind of like a pros and cons thing. Um, pros, uh, I, I don't mean this in a bad way. There's just not really a whole lot of pros. Um, you know, it's really just kind of a bare bones campground. Uh, you know, don't really offer a whole lot of amenities. Um, I would say it's not like it's a family campground by any means, you know, there's no playgrounds there or, or anything to really be able to keep people entertained other than sit down and look at mountains. Um, and, and there you have to make sure that, you know, you're one of the luckier people to be able to get up in the front area of the campground so you can enjoy that view. Um, if not, it looked like, you know, you could still see some of it, but, you know, definitely not as nice as being up in the front. Um, you know, they, they do have restrooms there. They're more so of like uh, porta potties. Um, but they do have, um, pumps to be able to step on. And so you can at least still wash your hands, you know, after you use the facilities. Um, but that's really it. You know, I want to say I, I, they have, um, they have written there, uh, I believe it's 30 to $50 a night for the rates. Uh, we stayed on the weekend and I can tell you the base rate was $50, but they do all their booking through, um, a, a third party app or website called Tenter dot com and um that added a fee on it just kind of like an airbnb does i think that was like an additional 15 dollars fee so uh, all in all i believe it came out to be about 65 dollars a night um and, and and i'll be honest with you for for me and, and what you get there um i think it's a little too pricey um you know so for that alone you know i, I don't think that we would go back um i believe you know especially when you're out doing tenting um, I probably just prefer more of the dispersed camping. Um, and there's, there's plenty of state parks that you can go to, whether you want to backpack in or you want to stay in one of their campsites that you can do dispersed camping. And you're certainly a lot further away from the people who are around you and your camping neighbors who are extremely loud and drunk and obnoxious. Um, but, um, you know, it, it, all in all, it was okay. Um, but I just, you know, I don't, I don't think I would go back anytime soon. Um, you know, talking to the owner, the gentleman who owned the property, um, you know, it sounds like he's very ambitious. He has a lot of plans for it. 
Uh, you know, so I think before we would head back, I'd like to be able to give him some time to get his feet underneath him and see what he's actually going to do with the property. Um, because I think it has a lot of opportunity. Um, me just personally knowing some of the plans that he has up there with, you know, some of the development and housing and stuff that he wants to do with a portion of it. Uh, you know, I would say that, I mean, to me, I, I think it would be a great option for them to add some sort of hookups up there. Um, you know, I don't think it would be out of the realm of possibility to be able to put water and sewer hookups there. Um, and electric, if you're already going to have houses that are around the area, um, you know, I, I wouldn't think it would be too far out of the realm of possibility to do that, whether or not he wants to spend the money for that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but you know, I, I, like I said, uh, as, as far as the, our, our camping experience there, um, you know, one of our, our neighbors, they were intense on, on the other side of us and they were doing a lot of drinking and, and were pretty intoxicated and very loud, um, you know, till I want to say like one o'clock in the morning. Um, and and it's not like even though it's called a campground it's 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 not a campground in any means like a normal campground you would go to where they have security or you know they have people who are patrolling and looking over things um it seemed like it was literally just the owner uh you know and i certainly don't want to call him at 12 30 one o'clock in the morning because our neighbors are being really loud I, I don't think it's really that serious um you know we just kind of put earplugs in and or put our pillow over our head and rolled over and went to sleep so um but yeah, I think, uh, you know, as far as heading back there, I would definitely want to give him some time underneath him. Uh, you know, I think that he does have a lot of plans that are there that I think are going to be great. Um, you know, when we were there last weekend, they had wine and they had a wine and beer tent that was up there. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, this weekend when we went there and we actually stayed there, they did not have that option. Um, so we weren't able to get wine or beer and we were really hoping to be able to get a bottle of wine from them. Um, it looked like, as you can see when we're driving into the, into, uh, the 100 mile view, um, they did have a horse and carriage there. So it looks like they may do some type of horse and carriage rides. Um, you know, we didn't inquire about that. I'm already Amish, as you can see in one of my last videos. So I didn't really think that there was a need to get on another, um, horse and carriage or horse and buggy rides. So, um, you know, but anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, you know, we certainly had a blast doing it and we had a blast taking you guys along on it. Um, this was our second trip that we had done there. So you guys got to see the scenic railroad part of it through the Lehigh Gorge scenic railway. Um, and this time you got to see a trolley tour through, um, you know, the different parts of Jim Thorpe, Malchunk. Um, and, and I would tell you on both of them, they were both extremely cool. Uh, you know, they're, they're two completely different things, but yet they are extremely informative and they're very fun to go on. They're very interactive and, and we had a really good time with that. So, um, I would say mine and Maury's personal preference was we probably had a little more fun on the, on the trolley ride. Uh, you know, but that's not knocking the Lehigh Valley Scenic Gorge Railway at all. It's absolutely beautiful. It brings people in from all over the world to be able to see that. And I highly recommend you do it. I would just recommend you paying a little bit of extra money afterwards and also taking the trolley ride because it's going to give you that, that extra bang that's there to, to really understand the history of that area. Um, you know, which is, is incredible. Um, you know, there's a lot of different history clips and things that play throughout the video. So I don't want to bore you guys with repeating all that over again. But, uh, you know, if there is anything that you would like to know about Jim Thorpe, uh, you know, just leave a comment down below and I will certainly answer it for you. Um, don't forget to get entered in our giveaway. You know, that giveaway is still running from now until the end of September. Um, and, uh, you know, the keyword for this video is, oh, hell, I don't know. What's the keyword for this video? The keyword for this video is adventure. So make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, comment adventures down below, and that will automatically get you entered into our sweepstakes, which, uh, you know, at the end of September, I'll pick one lucky person um, to win something from my merch shop. So, um, so yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for us. Glad you guys came along, and we'll see you on our next adventure.